What's up, salvage dolls? Look at these boxes of Barbies. Aren't they so pretty? I'm so excited to go through all of these with you guys. I've had them hanging out in my garage for a couple of months now. I just haven't had the time to go through them and get them filmed. I've had other videos that took priority first. I've tried to go in order for which I buy the Barbies. But I was so excited to get into these ones for you. I think a lot of them are from around the world, those kind of Barbies. Um, they're so pretty. They also come with a giant bag of accessories, which will come up next Monday. I'll do a video on those. But, and let me know in this video right now, in the accessories haul, do you want me to include all of the shoes or would you like a separate video that shows the doll shoes? Is that something you're even interested in? Maybe I just do like a little Wednesday video of just the doll shoes. Let me know what you're thinking. But I was so excited to get into all these. They are so pretty. Most of them have all of their accessories, at least that I can tell. I will try to tell you who they are as we go through, and we'll film as much as we can tonight as possible. Um, it's been a very long weekend, a good weekend, but busy. I haven't had time to film, and um, it's already like 10 o'clock at night, and I have work in the morning, so we will get through what we can get through tonight, and then, not that it'll matter to you guys, but we may finish up in the morning. So... My phone's only at like 33%, so let's see what we can get done. Um, and I will Google ID these girls as we go through. And if I can get a match on them, I'll tell you who they are. Okay, this one is Celestial Evening Star Barbie. She was a collector's doll. It looked like there's three in the collection. I'm not sure if we have the other two or not. I'm just kind of looking them up as we go. But her dress is so pretty. I don't think I've got her cape on correctly or maybe I should call it a veil the picture looks like it comes down from her hair from what I was finding online but it's also connected on her down here at her little belt and then I noticed there's like a little hand thing that looks like it's probably rotted um so I've probably got that on wrong it was just hanging off of her when I pulled her out of the box so I'm not quite sure how that goes on but look at her dress she is missing her shoes but as I mentioned there's a box of shoes that came with these so it's very possible her shoes are out in my garage so I'll have to see if we can find them her hair is also very pretty and very intricate I think it's interesting the plastic they use for her it just I don't mean I guess it suits it being she's celestial but it's almost like like it's white like not like not like white but like white you know <laughs> like it's like porcelain um her Earrings are like delicate little stars. She's a very pretty doll, which makes sense because she's a collector's edition. And look at those eyelashes. She's just gorgeous. Um, her hair ties have come off. So I think before I put her away, I'm going to put some new hair ties on because her hair has pretty well held its shape. It's in pretty good shape, but all her little bands have popped off. I think they just probably rotted away. I'm not sure what year she is. I didn't think to look that up. But you can kind of see how her veil, once it's attached-ish, it's funky. I got to figure out <laughs> how to put that on her because it's sewn in a couple places. I'm going to have to figure it out. But she is a gorgeous doll and somebody will really like having her in their collection. And hi, hello, you're new. <laughs> My hobby, what I'm into is I find Barbies that people don't want anymore. I make them beautiful again, and then I sell them. I would love to have a Barbie collection. I don't have the space for a Barbie collection. So I get to have Barbie in my life by buying them in bulk from people who are just getting rid of their personal collections and then reselling them. And if they need to get fixed up, then I work on making them beautiful again. So if you're new, I'd love it if you subscribed. I'd love to hit 1,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. I know I ask a lot, but... Thank you so much for those of you who do give me a subscribe. So let's move on to our next doll. Here is our next lovely doll. I was not able to get an ID match on her. She definitely seems like she's newer. Her dress, however, is actually from a 1990s um, fashion pack. So that was kind of fun to get an ID on that one. Um, we'll see if in the accessory bag there's a ton of accessories if maybe we don't find the rest of the fashion pack because it had shoes and it had some floofy little things to go on the rest and I think a veil or a big bow or something so maybe we'll find the other parts to it but as far as who she is I couldn't find her but I also didn't look super hard so 
I'll check again later. Again, it's getting late. And I want to do the prettier dolls. I'm not saying she's not pretty. She's just not what I'm here for. I don't know about you. I'm just, she was just in the box, right? She's not the around the world. She's not the collectibles. She's just there. <laughs> Here's our next doll. I believe she is the 2002 Collector's Barbie. She's very pretty. I love her fluffy pink dress with all the tulle and the feathers. She also would have had a pink fluffy boa, which I believe is actually out in the bag of accessories. So that is exciting. She is missing one shoe. But again, could be out in the garage. Oh, and there's sparkle in the tool. I didn't notice that before. Um, sparkle all down the dress. She's a very pretty doll. Her necklace says 2002, which is a very 2000s thing to do with your jewelry. Um, minimal makeup. I feel like I've seen this face before. I'm pretty sure I had a princess doll or a doll, an angel doll or something. I think she's princess. Had a very similar face with a pink dress. So I don't know how special her face is. Um, simple studded earrings no no rings but that's okay at least there's no gaping holes in her hands and then she kind of has shorter hair which i was kind of surprised by but um that's like the actual length it's supposed to be i feel like barbie normally has much longer hair especially um going back that far but still a very pretty doll okay here's our next doll she's so pretty this one is our first around the world doll and she is 1996 puerto rican barbie um, and of course it's Teresa. Um, her hair ribbon up here, I know it's supposed to be here, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to just hang down woo, or if it's supposed to like be in a bow. So if you know, please let me know. Uh, the ones I'm finding online that are out of the box look like mine. The one I'm finding that are in box, you don't even see the ribbon. So I know the ribbon goes there because the other out of the box dolls have the ribbon. Um, like I said, you can't see it on the inbox doll. So I don't know if it's just like supposed to hang completely down the back and that's why you maybe don't see it. I don't know if it's supposed to like be weaved into her hair. I'm gonna have to do more research. Um, I think she would have came with white high heels. Um, she currently does not have any shoes, but maybe they're in the garage. She does have her white ring on there. Um, very pretty doll. I like her dress, nice and poofy. I'm just impressed with how well kept these dolls are. Um, interesting if you want a little story to go along with me getting these dolls. The lady I bought them from was very young. She was like an hour away from me on Facebook Marketplace. I drove there to get them. Like very rough neighborhood. Um, Muncie, Indiana, if you know the place. And I had my friend with me. And the lady met us on the curb on the passenger side where my friend was. So my friend's the one who did the exchange for me. Um, she said the lady smelled so badly of the devil's lettuce. <laughs> and the whole bag of Barbies smelled so badly of Mary Jane. Um, it was giving me a headache. I had to roll down the windows on the way home. And I can't help but think that somebody's mother, the, the lady's mom, you know, probably put a lot of time and effort into... Um, Buying these dolls for her, maybe her grandmother, building her this beautiful doll collection. The girl looked like she's maybe, I don't know, 27 if I had to guess. Um, all for her to sell them for probably, I think I spent $50 on them. So all for her to spend them for $50 so she could probably go buy more drugs. <laughs> so sad. Not to laugh at that, but... Um, I just think about the time and effort somebody put into buying her these dolls and then she's kept them all these years and kept them in such good condition and I could be wrong. I shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but just what we were seeing and where we were and what we were smelling, all signs point to these dolls were being sold for nefarious purposes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the story time with that. And they've been in my garage since February. It's now the end of April. They have aired out. They no longer smell like marijuana. Um, but yeah, they. I had to set them out to air dry for a while on my back swing. But they're in such good condition. I mean, all the way down to like the little details of the rings and the hair. Like most of them have their accessories like on the doll. And it's just, it's impressive how well this collection was kept. Okay, here's another doll that's definitely newer. I haven't tried to do an ID on her. 
just because she looks very similar to the last doll I couldn't get an ID on. I will say her her arched feet, they're interesting to me. They are like, I mean, I know Barbie comes with arched feet, but like, damn, you know, like that's some arched feet. <laughs> so if you know her, let me know. I'll look into her more on my own later. Her dress does not have Barbie tags. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not Barbie, but I'd say the quality of it, at least from the inside with all the visible strings, I'm going to say probably not, though it is a very pretty dress on the outside. Uh, well, it doesn't even go all the way around. Yeah, it's not the highest quality. Very pretty from the front. Um, definitely missing a strap there. A bit big on Barbie, but maybe a 90s Barbie would fit better. This particular doll has a lot of glue seepage in the back of her hair. She feels disgusting to touch. So she'll probably be in one of our makeover videos. See if we can make her uh, look a little better, fix up her hair, make her less greasy. And then we'll send her on her way to somebody who will appreciate her. Okay, we have ourselves a Disney Belle. I believe she is a Disney store bell, which makes them more valuable when they from when they are from Disney store. I could be wrong about her being Disney store, but I, I'm just pretty sure that she is. She is a beautiful doll. I love her face. Um, she is articulated in the arms and into the hands. Her dress is beautiful and puffy. It's definitely like it could relax a little bit like it's a little little wrinkled in some spots um her hair is not horrible for the most part it has kept its shape it could use it could use some work like but it's not the worst we've seen by far um whew, don't fall over no jewelry on the hands but she does have her little studded earrings there her little little yellow earrings um this is still stiff from hairspray <laughs> A little bit of it still in there and her feet are just funky to me I don't know you have to tell me are they supposed to look like that because they just look weird however her shoes are that flat so are they supposed to be like that like they just they look messed up but you tell me um and if you don't tell me I will do research but Please tell me. <laughs> Do I need to be doing a boil wash and trying to get her feet to, like, not look like that? <laughs> they kind of look like the flat feet from uh, Cinderella's stepsisters. Belle, maybe you have some explaining to do. But I like her dress. It's very pretty. Very sparkly. Um, I personally would do without the white lace trim. But, you know, nobody asked my opinion on that. So that's what we have. The next one we have here is the 1995 Indian Barbie from the Around the World collection. Um, her makeup is very simple. If we can focus, but she has big brown eyes. She's absolutely beautiful. She looks very Teresa-esque. I wonder if they used the Teresa face mold for this particular doll. Um, she does have her gold earrings. She has her little, little mark right here. I believe that doesn't indicate that you're married if you wear that. Um, which is interesting because Barbie never gets married. So this lady's got herself a husband. <laughs> um, her braid in the back is starting to come apart, but that'll be a very easy thing to fix. Um, then she's a little gold hair bow down here. I don't know what her shoes would look like. I couldn't find anything listed. So if you know what her shoes look like, please let me know. Otherwise, she's got this beautiful pink, is it called a sari? I could be wrong on that. Beautiful pink dress with the gold trim and detail. She's definitely a pretty doll. Okay, this next one is 2003 Princess of Cambodia. She's another around the world doll. I love her face mold. It's very pretty. Uh, I don't know why Mattel doesn't keep using some of these faces that have that are just like different cultures you know um they've got a lot of different pretty face options um her earrings want to hang a little funny in my opinion like instead of hanging straight down they kind of twist towards her neck instead of coming outward which is slightly annoying um but they are very pretty earrings and then she also has her arm cuff um i don't believe she has a ring on but she does have her nails. They are painted. Um, she does not have her shoes, but again, we got a bunch of shoes in the garage, so 
maybe we'll find hers. I don't know what hers look like. I'm <laughs> gonna have to figure that out. Very pretty dress. It's very tight. I can only imagine wearing that in real life. Like you would have to hobble. It would be very hard to walk in. There really isn't a lot of space. Um, pretty little gold chain detail. You know, it's fabric, it's not metal. And then she has her pretty gold belt with the turquoise in the middle. This part feels like a, a plastic. Um, I mean, all of it's plastic, but you know, it's not like fabric or anything. And then she has her little um, piece that folds over there. Move her hair so you can see it from behind. And then I believe she might actually be, nope, she has class, you can take it off. I was gonna say, I thought she was like sewn into her dress, but no, she's very pretty. And then I love her crown, very pretty. She's just a, just a very striking doll. A lot of these around the world dolls are very, very pretty. They're very unique. Um, they're definitely fun for anybody's collection. Up next is 2002 Winter Concert Barbie. She is very pretty. She's got a very, very pretty face mold with smoky eyes and a red lip. Ooh, and there's some like gold shimmer underneath of the bottom eyelashes. She has brown eyes, which I think is a little different for Barbie. Barbie normally has blue eyes, sometimes green. This might be the first Barbie I've ever seen with brown eyes. Um, she has very pretty, sparkly, dangly red earrings. If we can get a focus on those, they are... There we go. Those are very pretty. Um, her hair is up in some kind of a bun. It's in pretty good condition because, which thankfully, because there's no way I think I could recreate that. <laughs> um, her cape is long and flowy. Our first doll has lost some feathers. <laughs> Found them. Um, I'm impressed with the, if I can get under there, <laughs> I'm impressed with the amount of detail work this doll has as far as her dress is concerned. And she also has her nails painted red, but we come on around here, her dress is just, it's just a very pretty dress. I mean, I guess, I guess the dress itself is fairly simple, but her cape or her shawl or whatever you want to call it, the inside here. I love that fabric that is so pretty. And it's just the fact that they put so much detail into the inside. I mean, it's very thick. Like, could I get one for winter, please? I think it would keep me warm. <laughs> um, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's very detailed with the puffy sleeves. And you have like the little fold over up here. It's just very pretty, very fashion. So you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is Dolls of the World, Princess of the Portuguese Barbie. I had a hard time getting an ID. I found a lot of them online, but none of them seem to be labeled correctly or they're labeled in other languages that I could not read. So please let me know if I got that wrong. I found it from a Walmart listing, oddly enough, through Google Lens. So I don't know that I trust it. <laughs> But she's very pretty. She's got a lot of gold detail. I'm gonna figure out how to make another bow. And tiny bows are hard. But got a bow here, and that should be a bow. She has her gold detail around her waist, and there's lots of embroidery here, which is very pretty. Um, something else I found interesting with this doll is that she actually has a slip. Uh, I believe it is attached to her dress, but I've never seen a Barbie with a slip before. I've seen them have like a crinoline to poof the dress out, but that one's a new one for me. Um, she is missing her shoes. Her nails are not painted and she does not have any rings. Um, however, she does have some little gold earrings that are just simple little studs. Um, very pretty face, very light makeup, but she, I don't know, I guess maybe it's her hair is just so dark and her, she has brown eyes as well. Um, I feel like her features are just kind of like darker against her very white porcelain skin. And then she has this weird like gold hat thing. I don't really know what that is. C a cover, a, I don't know. Um, this is what she looks like from behind. Her hair could use some work and I need to figure out how to work on curly hair. Uh, the last doll I did a curly hair video on, the um, Hair Adorables doll, I didn't know what I was doing and things didn't go great. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with curly hair um, because she's going to need a little bit of help. And here is our next doll. My understanding is that she is a Duchess Emma from the Portrait Collection. 
So I've never heard of that one before. Um, I don't have much information. I'll have to look into those. She's a very beautiful dress. Uh, being a duchess, I assume that means she's probably supposed to be an English lady. Though I could be wrong. Big, poofy hat. No jewelry. Interestingly enough, being a duchess, you'd think she'd have some. But no necklace, no earrings. No rings either. But she does have pretty pink nails. Um, her dress has lots of details with her the clear little cover here. Blue flowers. All the flowers down her edge work and on the sleeves. Um, her bodice comes down to a point there. It'd be interesting to see it. I mean, I guess it's it's probably all sewn together, but like if we could take this blue part off to see the underside, I guess, just out of curiosity. She does have curly hair um, and she has her shoes. One of the first dolls we've seen that has both shoes and they're very cute, simple, little blue pumps. It's supposed to look like the time period. And then if you get under her skirts, she does also have um, like a little bit of a crinoline in the back. So that's interesting. I, I don't know why it was such a big dress that they didn't just do one big crinoline, but it, it is what it is, I guess. I feel like she could have used, you know, something to help poof out her whole dress. Um, we can spin her around. That's what she looks like from the back. Her curls are not in the best shape, so we'll see if maybe we can fix those up a little bit. But ooh, still, still a very pretty doll. This next one here is Lady Camilla. It's another one of the portrait dolls. I have to wonder if she, is this supposed to be like, I didn't do a lot of research. Is this supposed to be like King Charles, his wife, Camilla? I was shocked that it had a $300 price tag on it on eBay. I mean, that doesn't mean that's what it's selling for. That's what that lister wanted, but like, really? <laughs> she is a very pretty doll. Um, very smoky makeup um the lips I feel like they could have given her more with the lips instead of just being flesh colored she does have the pearl necklace the dingly earrings the curls everywhere the dress is big and poofy and beautiful she has a strand of pearls that go all the way down and around um oddly enough this dress does not have a crinoline or a slip there is nothing going on under there uh she does have her shoes they're just kind of boring basic they look like the other ones that were also just blue and match the dress simple she's got some little pearls and lots of embroidered de detail work on the uh i guess not embroidery but it's the print on the fabric not so much a print i don't know what you'd call that um very 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 pretty doll unfortunately mine has some weird stuff going on up here i'm gonna figure out what that is that almost looks like a hairnet does that not look like a hairnet is that what that is is that that's a hairnet okay never mind that's just i have to fix that to help keep her hair nice and curly Thankfully that I was worried that was her hair. <laughs> they matched that color real good. Um, but that's the back of the dress. I'm not sure what's supposed to be going on here. Is it supposed to be like this? Did it rip or tear or come loose? Again, I didn't do a ton of research. My phone is at like 9% battery. So I want to get through this doll and the next doll <laughs> to show you guys. Um, so one more to go. And then I'm going to take a break for the night. And I'll catch in with you guys tomorrow. But there is our Lady Camilla. And here we have our 1997 Thailand Barbie. Very detailed and intricate dress. If anything, this dress might be even tighter than the last one we were looking at. That was the wiggle dress. Like, do people wear these in real life? Like, how do they walk? They're so tight, but very, very, very pretty. I love all the sparkles and how shiny it is. I don't know what her shoes would look like. Maybe we'll find them in the garage. I wasn't able to do a whole lot of searching on eBay because I'm down to like 7% on my battery. <laughs> I just enough to find the name for you guys. Um, she does have, you know, this like little necklace thing going on. It keeps bouncing around. Her gold cuffs, um, no nail polish, um, but she does have a big, she got a big old rock on her hand. Look at that thing, big old gold ring. Um, underneath, I don't, would you call this a cape? I'm not sure. Just like basic orange. Um, big, beautiful crown on her head, gold earrings. I don't know what this orange thing is. Is it just, is it supposed to be a bow? 
don't look like a bow. Is it missing something? I'm not sure. Her hair feels kind of crunchy, so we're gonna have to figure that out. I don't know if it had hairspray and like had a certain style to it. Um, I'm gonna guess it like probably had some kind of like a flip, maybe. I don't know, but it is crunchy. We're gonna have to figure out what's going on. But that is what she looks like from the back. I feel like with all the detail work they had in the front, like they could have done something back here, right? Like they could have made that something special, a moment of its own. Um, but it is what it is. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. We're back with another doll. This one is 1995's Victorian Lady Barbie. Honestly, I really thought that like all of these dolls were around the world and they're not, but they are beautiful. I never heard of some of these before, like the picture dolls we were talking about and now Victorian Lady. Um, very, very pretty. She's got little pearl earrings, as you can see. I love that she has the eyelashes. I haven't seen a Barbie with eyelashes in a very, very long time. Her dress has lots of details with the little roof ruching here along the, the front and her ruffles and lace and ribbons all the way down to, I don't know what you'd call that. Her shoes are funky. <laughs> they are basic black Barbie pumps. And then she's got some like velvety fabric pinned in place to supposed to look like period shoes. Like, you know, um, shoes that would be worn from a Victorian lady. <laughs> but they are, they're failing. They are missing the mark. I don't know why Mattel did not um, make better shoes. You put so much detail into the rest of the doll and that's the shoes you're going to give her. <laughs> um, so more bows and ribbons. She does have her ring. And that is what the dress looks like from the back. A little more simple. There is, I don't know if you'd call this a, a bustle, but it's like stuffed with something. You can kind of hear it there. Her hair is a mess. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be, looks like two braids maybe. And then maybe they're wrapped up into the bun somehow. I don't know. Seems connected. I'll have to look into it. Um, and then interestingly, this bow here in the front is also stitched onto her dress. So I don't know if I go to redo her hair, if that's gonna make things difficult. Um, I've got plenty of pink thread, so it's not like I can't just like pop the stitching and sew it back on. Hopefully she'll be an easy hair fix without taking her hair piece out. Um, her ribbon up here, or her feather I should say, has some minor damage. We'll have to see if there's anything we can do to kind of make that look a little nicer, but. Otherwise, she's a, she's a pretty doll. Next one here is a 2003 Heather Fonseca. From what I can gather, Heather Fonseca, assuming I'm saying the last name correctly, is a fashion designer. I, I don't know much about it, but it's a beautiful dress. Also, sorry if you can hear my neighbor's dog, it won't shut up. <laughs> it is outside. I shut my windows, but you can still hear it. Um, so, beautiful doll. She's got a little ribbon with a little uh, diamond on her throat, her silk gloves. I like the print here. It makes me think of um, like China, like fine China has that kind of print button blue. She does have her shoes, which is always good. And then her hair is in really good condition. Uh, now she does have a few little feathers here and there that are coming off that uh, first doll we looked at that had the pink feathers. She's just the gift that keeps on giving, but that is the back of her dress. It kind of dips down and has like a little circular moment here. Um, and then she's got that big puffy ribbon there on the side. I love her lip color, that beautiful burgundy. And then this Barbie has her tradition, traditional big blue eyes. So I guess if she's supposed to be like this Heather lady, maybe that's the color of that lady's eyes. Um, no earrings, interestingly enough. The next doll here is the 2000s Fabulous Fortress Barbie. And I believe it's called Great Fashions of the 1940s. Or maybe her fashion is from the 1940s. And the collection is um, Great Fashions. I'd have to relook. I'm not remembering all of the words in what I found. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but she's very, very pretty. Beautiful burgundy gown. She does have pantyhose. Um, her shoes look much better than the last doll's shoes. 
It's um kind of like silky. They're, they're, they're silky on both sides. It's like a different, kind of slightly different color on the inside there. Um, her fingernails are not painted, but I do love her bracelet here. It's got little, ooh, if we can focus. It's got little um, diamond studs in it. And then I think it's so fun. It actually has a working clasp. Look at that. If we can kind of get a focus on it. Isn't that kind of fun? That little S hook there. That's a little, that's, that's like some real attention to detail, you know, like they could have just made like a stretchy little bracelet that just would have slid on, um, slid on her hand. And then she has her little dragonfly brooch. I'm sorry, we are not focusing well today, but how cute and tiny is that? Is that like, just like stitched on or yeah, that's just a stitched on two little buttons. Um, pretty face. Her hair is in pretty good condition. Could use a little bit of a tucking in the back, but otherwise she's pretty good to go. She's got a little black hat with some feathers and a rose. And she would have had a black boa to go along as well, like a fluffy boa. Um, we'll have to see if that is in the bag of accessories that we got, oh, oh, that I got with um, all the dolls. This next one here is the Chilean Barbie from the Dolls of the World. She has a hat as you can see and it is plastic i know sometimes they like are felt or something this is just plastic it's interesting the strings tighten down here um one of them was loose and uh i thought maybe i could pull it up here and even it out but no it actually pulls right here and it just tightens up the um straps there around her face so this barbie has a brown eyes again apparently brown eyed barbies are more common than i realized not that that's a problem i just I always thought they were blue eyed. Um, pretty red lips. She has little gold hoops there on the side. One and two. They're both there. Um, has her skirts, her original boots. Skirt has some lace and some fluff. She does have her ring and her little, is that a jacket, a waistcoat? Not sure. And then her hair is up in a bun here in the back. And that's what she looks like from behind. there we have it this next barbie i have not gotten an id on yet but she looks a lot like the fashionista dance party barbie i found two listings for her on ebay both of them just call her crimped hair barbie with darker streaks um you guys would have seen us do the the makeover for the dance party barbie and she had the little bubble braids in the front and the green dress i don't think that that is her i mean it might be the fashionista doll for that line um but I, she's not the dance party version so i'm gonna have to do a little more digging when i have a little more time um i've got to be heading out for work here soon but she does have her little bracelet and it seems like this is a complete outfit with exception to the missing shoes i'll have to figure out what those shoes look like and see if we have them out in the garage um her hair it says it's supposed to be crimped and i guess there also are some tiny crimps in there but hopefully i can just do a decent little little brushing with some detangler because there's no way I can recrimp her hair to look like that. I don't have a crimper that makes that tiny of crimps, but she's a very pretty doll. Our next one is the year 2000s New Year's Collectors Barbie. So she is the Millennium Barbie. I'm, she's probably not called Millennium Barbie, but Y2K, turn of the century, 2000. I remember how big of a deal the year 2000 was. I think I was like a fifth grader, fourth grader. I was 10. What, however you all are, however, whatever grade you're in when you're 10. <laughs> is, that, is that fourth, fifth grade, something like that? Um, very pretty dress. I think it's, I mean, it's fitting that they put 2000 all over it, but I think it's kind of funny, a little bit tacky because on its own without all of that, it would be a gorgeous gown. Um, and then the shiny parts on it almost make it look like the uh, New Year's Eve ball, except for in red. And then it's got the little diamond collar going up around the neck. She's got her silky red sash. She is missing her shoes. The back of the dress has a little bit of a little bit of a tail going on back there. She has her pretty star earrings along with matching barrettes in her hair. Um, call them barrettes because that's what they're supposed to be, but I assume they're probably sewn on. I don't think they're going to come off easily. And then she's got the big bun at the top, big ballet bun. And that is what she looks like from behind the ballet bun is a little smushed so we'll have to see if we can perk that back up but 
Otherwise, she's in really good condition. This next girl is another around the world Barbie. She's 1994 Polynesian Barbie. And she's got her grass hula skirt. I suspect she's probably been on display. Just, I don't know. She has those kind of vibes. I had dolls I displayed when I was a kid. And they just kind of ended up looking like this. And I don't know how else to explain that. Other than they just look like they've been out on display. Like, I don't want to call her dusty. Because she's not. But like, I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't like dust particles like embedded in the fabric. Does that make any sense at all? I'm sure those of you who have had dolls on display get what I'm talking about. Where things just start looking a little little dusty like they haven't really been played with but they've been sitting on display for a while if that makes any sense at all and like maybe her grass skirt is maybe faded a little bit like maybe there's a window nearby a little dusty hair has gotten tangled from just sitting and I don't know that's just what it strikes me as but she's got long black hair her her uh, hula skirt with the wooden beads which I think that's a fun attention to detail because it could have just went plastic but as far as I can tell, that's actual wood. She has little pearl rings and pearl earrings. She has a lay on. Oh, yeah, she has on a lay. It's just, I think it's sewn into her, um, into her swim top there so you don't lose it. And then she has her flower crown. No shoes, but I don't know if this doll would have come with shoes or not. You can let me know if you know. Um... Yeah, anyways, I am going to head to work, and then we will do the rest of these dolls when I get back. Next up here is another Around the World doll. It's 1996 French Barbie. I love how fluffy her dress is. It's very cute that they stitched it up here on the side, so it almost looks like she's holding it up, but it won't fall down. It holds its shape really well, given that it doesn't have a crinoline underneath, but it really just stays nice and fluffy. As you can see, she has black leggings, and she has some black boots that have some lace detailing there in the front. Her dress has the little flowers, lace and ribbons. She has a little ribbon around her neck that just ties in the back and that is what she looks like from behind as well i like showing you guys the back of the doll because when i'm looking for these guys online um i'm finding that a lot of them i can't find a back picture so sometimes i don't quite know how things are supposed to be looking um so her hair seems to be in good condition her little hat just has a hole there that her hair pokes out at the top but i believe that's probably how the way her hair is supposed to be styled and then all the fluff and flowers there in the front and all of her bangs. It's very, very pretty doll and she's in really good condition. I am back from work and we now have 1998's Stepping Out Barbie. She's a fashion edition, I believe, 1930s, I think is what is said, if I remember correctly. Very pretty face with red lips and blue eyes and light smoky makeup. Her feather boa, which is I'm sure also contributing to all of the other dolls having feathers on them. She also has her black gloves. I feel like these gloves, there's, there's another doll we see in the gloves as well. My son is still upstairs, so I think you might hear him up there chattering. My husband is working from home today. Uh, he went to go put the TV on for him upstairs. Um, the gloves, anytime they're on a doll, not just these in particular, they look like oven mitts to me <laughs> because it's just like a thumb hole. I think they look kind of funny in my opinion, but like, I get it. It goes with the look. I can't remember. Does she have shoes on? Yes, she does have her. She has a little strappy heels going on down there. A little bit of, um, it's considered like a mermaid style dress with the flare out or is it trumpet style? I don't know. Something else I thought interesting about this dress is that these pieces actually connect to the feather boa. Now somebody's mowing. I am sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> It's either the sounds of the neighbor mowing or it's going to be the sounds of my kids watching TV and talking. You got to pick and choose. Um, but yeah, it's attached. Whoa, it's attached to the feather boa, which I find interesting. I didn't expect that. I thought they would be attached to the dress. And then her hair, the, her feathers are kind of sticking to her hair. So I got to figure that out without damaging anything. But her hair is like shellacked down. It is like crunchy, right? Like that is, <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. But very pretty very pretty i don't know why i said it like that it was kind of weird up next we have 1994's pilgrim barbie she would have originally come with a little book along with a little basket 
and some corn inside of her basket. Um, big blue eyes. I'm surprised being that she's a Barbie. She has brown hair and that, that she's not like a Teresa, but I like the brown hair because I have brown hair. <laughs> Any Barbies that have brown hair, I like. Um, she does have a golden ring on her hand, uh, which is interesting that she doesn't have any earrings. I mean, I guess earrings wouldn't really fit the time period. Um, has her little shawl and this, oh, the shawl comes off. It's got a snap to it. That's what her dress looks like underneath of her shawl and then underneath of her apron. My doll has a little bit of a stain on her apron, but you know what? It did its job. It protected her dress. Hopefully a little bit of OxyClean will take that out and get that cleaned up. Um, she is, whoa, falling over. I don't know that this is her original shoe, but that's what she has on currently. I feel like she probably would have something different. Um, she's got her little bonnet on. It's it's so funny because back in the pilgrim days, you know, like they, they covered their hair. You wouldn't have had any hair coming out the back. So it's kind of funny how Mattel did it like this instead of doing a full hair covering. And then here's the back of her dress. And she, of course, also has the little cuffed details there on the bottom of her sleeve. Here is our next doll. She is newer. I could not get an ID on her. So if you recognize her, let me know. I feel like the last two other newer dolls we looked at, they all look kind of the same, don't they? I really feel like they just kind of have the same look to them. Um, the dress looks older. I don't know that the apron is hers, but that's what was on her. The dress is, I don't think it's hers either. I couldn't get an idea on the dress either. <laughs> How many times can I say either? Um, it's got the snaps in the back, so that definitely makes me think it's like an older style dress. Um, it's pretty, or at least it was pretty at one point in time. It's definitely got some rips and tears. So maybe I can do something with it and make it a little more modern, a little more fun. We'll see if I do another dress transformation. But if you recognize the dress, the apron, or the doll, please let me know. This next doll of the world is Mexican Barbie. It looks like she may have originally had some black pumps, though I could be wrong. Um, a lot of the ones I'm finding on eBay are just barefoot if they're open. But one I found that was open and in very good condition had black pumps. So that's my guess. I love her little rose ring it matches her dress so well and then she also has matching rosebud earrings there she's got all the ruffles and lace around her bodice and then you spin her around she's got her two big poofy braids which should be really easy to put back in order if that's not too much of a problem she has green ribbon obviously going down her braids i'm not sure if they're supposed to be attached at the bottom or not. I'm gonna have to look into that. And then she would have had a red flower in her hair and uh, the one for my doll is missing. But otherwise, she's in really good shape. I love it when they have all of their jewelry because it's not like having a doll with random holes in it. <laughs> I'm okay with missing a flower if we've got her rings and her earrings. Next girl here is the 2001 Mattel Collectors Barbie. I don't think she had any more of a name than that. This dress is absolutely stunning. It is a beautiful and poofy and sparkly. It is just all of the things. Now, my doll is missing her shoes, and I'm not sure what those would have looked like. I haven't found those online yet. And then she's also missing a shawl that's the same kind of material. It looks like as this part of the skirt or very similar material. And then she also would have had matching gloves that would have matched the the dress part from from the inside in there um so those parts are missing but everything else seems to be here these earrings are heavy duty and then this one is like hanging a little funky i tried getting it to sit correctly but it is hard like they're like a heavy duty metal and they're kind of hard to manipulate so i'm going to see what i can do there um her hair is <laughs> hair sprayed like nobody's business. I'm not sure if this is supposed to hang in the front or if it's supposed to hang in the back, but it wants to hang in the back. So I'm letting it do its thing. She has her little tr. Oh, and it says 2001 in there. I like that. It's so like, um, I don't know. What do you want to say? Delicately put in there. Like you could almost miss it. So you're not always just it's not like blaringly in your face. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? And then I think her hair is in decent condition. Um, oh, was her hair supposed to be like a bow that's kind of fun 
hopefully with some more hairspray and some combing we can kind of work that back into place but like it's really in pretty good shape especially considering the age but she is just a beautiful doll um more so than anything her dress i think her dress is just absolutely stunning okay this one i really expected to be another doll of the world but when i tried to do a google image um it's coming up saying that the dress is from little house on the prairie however some of the ebay listings have it listed as being barbie or being mattel the inside of the dress has no branding but that doesn't always mean anything however i'm not finding anything with the dress on a doll so is this like a fashion pack that goes on any doll was there supposed to be like a ma or a pa or like a little probably not pa but like you know one of the girls supposed to be wearing this dress it's from mattel is the dress not mattel a lot of questions here if you guys have answers please let me know i think this doll is very pretty she's got a more unique um coloring to her instead of being like a cool tone she is more of like a warm tone she's got like the rosiness in her face and her hands and even in her in her legs everything is a little more on the rosy side and then i love her hair coloring it's that pretty strawberry color not quite red and definitely not blonde but a pretty strawberry color um and i haven't gotten any hits on this particular doll either so that'll be a fun one to have to figure out later Okay, this next Barbie, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure she is SeaWorld Barbie. She has the black panted on legs, the pink earrings, and the big green aquamarine kind of looking eyes. Pretty sure it's SeaWorld Barbie, but again, correct me if I'm wrong. And then this dress, I can't get any ID on. It doesn't have any labeling in it. It seems old because it still has snaps in the back, so I don't recognize it. If you guys recognize it, let me know. It's given gingerbread man vibes, in my opinion. It'd be a good one to dress your doll up in for like Christmas. Next doll here, I couldn't get an ID on either. I know she's an older Barbie, probably 70s to 80s, but past that, I don't know. Um, the pants are funky. They might be more like for kin. This is obviously not an outfit. You got a big old hole in them, but they should be an easy enough fix. Um, interesting jackets. I have to wonder if maybe the jacket isn't handmade, but it could be wrong. Um, Barbie is very pretty. She has like lavender eyeshadow, and then her eyes are technically a blue, but they're almost pulling like a lavender color as well, like a very light coral lipstick. Um, if you recognize her, let me know. I'm probably going to have to post her in the ID My Barbie Facebook group because I was not able to get anything on Google Images. Um, kind of curlyish hair. Definitely needs a brush out, but otherwise, that's what she looks like. Okay, this girl here is the 1998 Austrian Barbie, another one of the dolls of the world. She would have had black flats, but those are gone. Uh, however, she does have her stockings. I shouldn't say gone. They could be outside. She's got a little pearl ring on her hand right there. Pretty little floral dress. Um, you can remove her little, would you call it a jacket? Um, then her shawl is just kind of tied on there. Her little pearl earrings to match. And her little braided headband, um, which does actually come off. It's not actually her hair. It's like tied in there, if you can kind of get a look at that. Or is it her hair? Huh. I guess maybe it is actually her hair. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I think it might come off. I don't know. I don't have a reason to take it off. I think she'll be easy to just brush her hair out to give it some uh, leave-in conditioner and brush it out. She does have yellowing on her neck. It's interesting how she's only yellowing there and not on her hands as well or her face. Uh, maybe whatever's on there will clean off. I don't know. I have to give it a try. But even if it doesn't come off, at least it's not like overly noticeable now that i've pointed out you're probably looking at it but i feel like the shawl kind of helps to cover the next doll here is the 1994 rapunzel barbie she's a very pretty and she's held up very well i feel like a lot of times dolls with this much hair just they don't make it though i am saying seeing that some of her twists have come undone up here but like still easy fix like not at all an issue she still has all of her jewelry so both of her gold earrings her little necklace and also her little ring down here she also has all three of her little hair pieces 
I'm not sure if she would have had a little thing to help her hold her hair. It looked like in package, there was like a little loop the hair set on. I'm not sure if that was part of packaging or if that was something the doll was supposed to like have to help hold her hair. Not sure. Um, she is missing her shoes, which would have been a pair of gold pumps. And then she also would have had like, an, uh, I don't know what you call them, basically a hat that's like cone shaped and it would have had like ribbons coming down off of it. Maybe I'll put a picture in if I think to do that. Um, very pretty doll. I love all the coloring in her dress, the big poofy sleeves. She has a little bit of sparkle here and there. She is definitely very pretty. We've made it to our second to last doll. You may hear some chatter outside. The um, There's a homeschool group that meets at the building next to my house. So they're dismissing. There's kids and grownups all out in the parking lot right now. So this doll, I couldn't get an ID on either. I'm thinking she's probably another one of the My Generation girls. Could be wrong. Just judging by the face, her articulation, the hands, the painted nails. And then she also has kind of like that um, caramel color parts to her hair, like little chunky parts, but other parts are blonde. This kind of making me think that, but I'm going to look into it a little bit more. Unfortunately, this doll has like a little cut on the top of her nose, but otherwise very pretty doll, pretty blue earrings, um, red nails, and then the dress. I had one ID match come up and it labeled it as being a, um, I think it might be from Fashion Avenue, but I think it was called a Barbie bridal. Um, sounds like they have like a, a bridal line maybe. I wasn't sure. They kind of, it was very wordy listing. So I don't remember all of it verbatim. So I'm going to look into it a little bit more. So they're definitely out there. And it's Barbie brand. At least I'm pretty sure it is Barbie brand. I have to double check for tags. I didn't look for those, but seems to be a thing out there. Kind of a simpler dress, but pretty from the front. Let's check out our last doll. Next doll has a lot going on. I cannot get an ID on the doll herself. So if you recognize her, let me know. Pretty brown hair, gold earrings, red lipstick, and um, her eyeshadow has a little bit of a shimmer on the top there. Kind of blue eyes with kind of like a whitish blue eyeshadow. Couldn't get an idea on her. And then her skirt is from the 1982, I believe, or was it 84? Um, Loving You Barbie, but it had a completely different top, so... And the dress is, or the skirt is kind of shredded. When I found it out in, like when I was going through everything originally, I just kind of assumed these pieces went together. But I thought it was a little weird that it would go on top of another dress. Um, it turns out they don't actually go together. So I'll take the skirt off and I'm going to run an ID and see if I can find the dress it's on top of. They match up pretty well together. Um, however, this dress is pretty stained. But you know what? This dress is ripped up. So whatever. Okay, this next dress is... It, has, it is a Mattel brand, however, it's actually from the Hart family, and it was um, a, a four-piece set. You could get a dress for the mom, dad had a matching like tuxedo, and then there was matching outfits for the kids, and I believe it said it was a Sears um, special edition or Sears collection or something like that, so that's kind of interesting. Um, this dress and that skirt go so well together. They really do. However, I do have a few um, Hart Family mom dolls. So I'll probably just put this, this dress at least, on one of those. Um, this doll does have some little black panties on underneath. Just like a little basic <laughs> swim bottoms probably. I don't think Barbie gets panties, but whatever. Um, have to see if we get the stains out of up in here. I'm not sure those are stains or the dress is just worn thin and you're just seeing the coloration of the doll. But very simple dress. It kind of looks like a nightgown. I mean, I'm sure you can kind of see where I thought maybe the skirt layered on top, but it does not. So that is our last doll, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you subscribe if you've not already. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I really just appreciate the engagement. And hang out with me in the comments below. I always try to respond. Again, thank you so much for watching.